Your training tip for today is going to be on rising blocks. So a very common mistake that's done by everyone from beginners all the way up to black belt sometimes is bad rising block positioning, agyuke position. Whenever you block, your hand shouldn't be over your head with your elbow off to the side. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for this. The first is because it's not practical. If you're trying to actually block something, you're not blocking this half of your head. Secondly, this is actually a pretty weak position for the arm. If you have a partner who's pushing down on this part of your arm, you'll be able to see that pretty clearly. Instead, you want to position the arm over your head so that your elbow is directly over your shoulder, but also you don't have your hand angled, your forearm angled down so the top of your head is showing. The top of your hand should actually be up a little ways. So the ways that you can train this is you can stand in front of a mirror and just make sure that your, your shoulder, your elbow is almost directly above your shoulder and that your arm angles upwards slightly. That way you have more elevation there, more coverage over your head. Uh, another thing you can do if you don't have a mirror is maybe try to challenge it with some resistance. So I have a really light dumbbell here. Um, I could try actually blocking this way. So if your arm goes out to the side, you'll feel that there's a propensity for your hand to actually fall down slightly. You can resist it and hold up, but you'll feel like the majority of the strain is here on the back of the triceps. If you have your arm in the correct position, you'll actually feel it a little bit more in the shoulder. So there's going to be a little bit more strain there. That's just because of the positioning. So if you take that out of your hand, you'll be able to feel where your arm is. So maybe try with a partner or in front of a mirror or with a dumbbell. Make sure that your arm is in the proper position for Agyuki.